Just past third and four, excuse me, just past the 35, need to get it to the 31. They hand off to Brown. Davis keeps it right up the middle. He didn't get it. Big Hunter Largent got a hold of him with no helmet on his head and pulled him down after a gain of about two. It'll be fourth down and two at the 33 and probably four down territory here for the Nebraska Kearney Lopers. Yeah, I mean, it just depends on the job up front. Obviously, the better, and the Broncos have it. Steph Brown on first down, hands off to Trayvon Wolfolk right up the middle. Big hole across the 30, out to the 35-yard line. A 12-yard first down run, as that's Trayvon Wolfolk, the 6'1", 225-pound junior transfer from Fort Valley, Georgia, who was at NEO previously. All blue tonight, new uniforms as Brown fakes a handoff and drops the pass for the first time. Steps out of pressure to his right, gets away from a man at the 45, has room at the 50, 45, and he slides down foot first at the 41-yard line. Steph Brown had one man on the edge. He got by him, and he carries the ball for 15 and a first down. Just out of the grasp with that defender and a big play for the Broncos. Three in a row now for UCO as uh, Steph Brown shows what he can do with his feet. Right there. He can throw the ball, too, though. So Steph is going to be a threatening quarterback in the MIAA. The 25, Carney needs to get it out to the 35. Davis looks, throws over the middle, passes incomplete. Tried to get it to Anderson, and it was well covered that time at the 35-yard line. Jonathan Mosley around it again. We've called his name a lot early on. It's fourth down, and we'll see our first punt. Broncos at the 49. Wolfolk to the left of Brown on this first down play. Brown in the shotgun where he will work out of most of the time. Steph Brown fakes a handoff, throws over the middle, pass complete. Out across the 40 to the 35 and down to the 33. First catch for Darius Melton, the junior from Pompano Beach, Florida. 18 yards on the catch, first down for the Broncos. A little scream from the referee, too, on that play. You take what, it. My understanding is that uh, we might need to get to know Darius Melton a little bit. There's a lot of uh, a lot of excitement around Darius Melton, who split out wide. Andrew Carney, the fullback, as he fakes a handoff to Woolfolk, looking to throw, throwing down the field for Hammond. He makes the catch at the 10, stays inbound at the 5, and Oscar Hammond is into the end zone for a Bronco touchdown. Steph Brown to Oscar Hammond. 33 yards and UCO takes the lead 9 to 7 with 1402 to go in the first half. What a throw and then the over the shoulder catch by Hammond who then tight ropes the sideline and tiptoes into the end zone after uh, after catching it just a Davis in the gun on third down and two. Hands off right up the middle met in the backfield hit and dropped. As the handoff that time went to Demarius Hosey and he was taken to the turf after no gain. It'll be fourth down. An absolute wall he ran into there, and that UCO defensive front can really uh, give you some pointers when you're watching film. Brown in the shotgun, empty backfield, looking to throw, steps up, throws to Hammond, complete over the middle, 30, 35, stiff arms the tackler and gets out to the 40-yard line. 22 yards on the quick strike over the middle to Oscar Hammond, who's up to 55 yards receiving now. First and 10 Broncos at the 40. Beautiful throw by Steph. Brown has Andrew Carney to his right. Brown looking, throwing right side complete. Jacob Delso, 45, lowers his head, gets out to the 49. Nine yards on first down for Jacob Delso, the junior from Oak Mulgee. It'll be second and one. Boy, and we called Delso's name a lot a year ago. He's a key player back for the Broncos on this offense. With him and Hammond out there in the uh, as, as receivers, and then uh, uh, we're glad to be back on the radio here we'll, with you guys. We'll run you through what you missed after this play. There's a handoff to Peyton Scott, right side. Bounces outside, 30, back inside. Inside the 30, went outside at the 35, went inside at the 30, zigging and zagging all the way down to the 28-yard line. Peyton Scott carries that one for 11 yards. When you look up and you go, you're like, what a run. How was that not a first down? But the Broncos fall started on the uh, previous play. So Broncos going to go for it. Need to get it to the 24. Empty backfield here for Brown. Brown, three-man rush, looking, throwing, pass, complete. First down all the way at the 21-yard line. Oscar Hammond ran the stop route on the sideline and catches it for 15, and the Broncos move the chains. I mean, just a beautiful route. Brown threw it. With precision, right where he needed to uh, get past the chains, and Hammond's hand yard gain to the 19, second and eight. Brown under center, hands to Wolfolk, stretch right, getting outside at the 15, at the 10, lowers his head at the five, through the tackle, and into the end zone. Trayvon Wolfolk, 
adds to the Broncos' lead with 4.01 to go on a 19-yard touchdown run. It's 16-7 UCO. And if you haven't celebrated a touchdown in front of a waterfall, have you ever played football? Like, what a beautiful setting here at Chad Richardson Stadium and uh, the south end zone where UCO just put the ball in under, underneath the beautiful new scoreboard and the uh, waterfall. Uh, it just, uh, you, c- you couldn't ask for anything better. Uh, and also, oh, the touchdown. Fear the falls, baby. Nikki Covado on for the extra point. Snap is good. The hold is good. The kick is away. And it is good. 4.01 to go. First half. Broncos up by two scores. Set of it. Third down and one. Davis under center. Davis hands off to the fullback. He's hitting the backfield. He's not going to get there. He's pulled back at the 45 yard line for no gain. And it's going to be fourth down as Kobe Stevens, among others, comes up to make the play. Well, chance for a big score here. Brown hands off left side. That's Carney at the 40, bounces outside at the 36-yard line. He's finally taken down, but not before he gains nine yards. Clock moves under two minutes. Second to throw. There's no flag down. Brown throws pass complete to Oscar Hammond. He took a big hit and held on at the 16. Should have been a free play. There is a flag from the 26. Brown in the shotgun. Four-man rush. Throws left side. Pass complete to the 15 and out of bounds. At the 13-yard line, first catch of the year for Terrell Davis. And it's going to be fourth down for the Broncos at the 13, and UCO with 41 seconds to go. Remember, the clock does stop in the last two minutes of the half. So the clock is stopped with 41 seconds left, and the Broncos will try a 30-yard field goal from the left hash. And they did exactly what they wanted to do on that play. I mean, I... Shotgun. Excuse me, under center, one uh, deep back. That's Wolfolk who gets a handoff. Slips a tackle at the 20, outside at the 25, 30, 35. There's a holding penalty that's going to come in up at the 37-yard line. It's going to be a first down. Even with that penalty, it's going to be a first down, but it's going to erase what was about a 25-yard run as I believe they're going to get Christian Romero holding. on holding. the edge for a hold. Number 13, offense. Yeah, number 13 is Christian Romero. Foul. Clock at four as Steph Brown takes a shotgun snap. They need 11. Brown steps up. He's going to run with it. 30, 35. He needs the 38. He's got it to the 40, to the 45, all the way to midfield and out of bounds. Steph Brown with a nice run, a little jawing after the play between Steph Brown and Javier Peterson. But Brown got more than enough for the first down there. 23 yards on a third and 11, first and 10 Broncos at midfield. You don't think Peterson was telling him good run? <laughs> I don't. Territory for the Broncos here. Brown in the gun. Hands to Scott right side. Scott cuts back at the 45. Still on his feet. Still on his feet. Inside the 40 and down inside the 35 to the 34. And he's spinning out of runs like he's a 215-pound running back right there. I mean, you, you, it's not just the Lopers. Zion Bell in on the tackle that time for the Broncos. Second down and eight from the 46. Davis looking to throw. Davis drops, throws right side, and that one is intercepted at the 50, at the 40, down the sideline, 30, 20. Davis, the only man that can catch him, and he's not going to. It's a Bronco touchdown as it's intercepted by J.K. Moore, who takes it back for six. When the offense didn't get it done, it's nice that the defense can step up and put some points on the board, and that's exactly what Moore did right there. That's a dangerous throw if you're Davis. That is pick six territory. The Broncos did exactly that, took it to the house. Nebraska Kearney. Davis, hands off right side. Nothing doing as Noah West just pile drives the ball carrier into the turf. That was Demarius Ozy who got the carry, and he's going to lose a yard back to the 37. Carney going quick now. Brown in the shotgun. Brown looking to throw. Throws right side pass complete to Melton out of midfield, looking to break a tackle. Still not to the turf, and finally (laughs) just kind of sits down at the 47, maybe 46 in Nebraska Carney territory, but that's a nice gainer, 15 yards and a first down. Yeah, Melton was being held on uh, to by his jersey. Under center is Steph Brown. Brown hands to Woolfolk left side. Woolfolk cuts back 45, big hole 40. 35-30 to the 25, and he's upended at the 23-yard line. Nice run for Trayvon Woolfolk, 23 yards, and another Bronco first down. Just a really nice change of direction over there for Woolfolk on the right side. He looked like he was going to, maybe the play was designed to come inside. 
and, and then he cut back and went outside as there was just nothing but turf in front of him. And uh, some block. Their first drive of the fourth quarter for Nebraska Kearney with 8.26 to go on the clock. Davis, shotgun snap, looking, fires one deep right side, and that ball is incomplete. Amante Davis in on the coverage. It was underthrown a little bit for Cole Brown, and Davis was with them every step of the way. That would have probably been a pass interference 10 years ago for face guarding, right? Yeah, maybe, but again, if the receiver is kind of fighting back to it as well, they kind of, you know, they tend to let those things go. Especially in this conference. Davis in the shotgun as again the Broncos show a blitz off the edge as Grant Lohr looks like he's going to be the fourth rusher for UCO. Broncos do bring four, make it five. Davis throws right side passes, incomplete. A big hit that time as Raquan Wicks hit Kevin Brown, who the pass was intended for, and knocked the ball away from him. And it's going to be fourth down, and that's one of those hits, John, that you see so many targetings now in college. All right, Nebraska Kearney with the ball, first and 10 at the 23. Davis in the gun, a little pitch pass, going left and getting nowhere. As the tackle was made on the edge that time, that was J.K. Moore who had this to his right. Davis looking, blitz comes, he's hit, the ball goes flying in the air, the ball's loose on the ground. Got Who's it. got it? The Broncos got it. They're going to say incomplete pass, and that's got to be reviewed. That ball went Throwing backwards. On the yeah, field. I think, I think that's you, got to be pass, reviewed. I think you throw your challenge flag on that if you're Coach Doral because that was not a pass. Let's we'll see, see it here. Replay. He's... That ball went backwards. Yeah. I, I, he had his arm back, but I don't think his arm was going forward. Yeah. I'm ch Zane Schwong is back to receive the punt from Vargas. Vargas gets the kick away. Schwong takes it at the 19. Away from a tackler at the 20 to the 25. Hit and knocked out of bounds at the 31-yard line. And a UCO player is down. And we have two flags. Back by the kicker. If it's running into, that's a first down. Still a first down if it's running into. I didn't see the flags. I know that Carney brought the rush. This could be a huge penalty for the Broncos. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic. First down. So not even running into. It's roughing the kicker. And the Broncos get a huge break. Well, Carney brought the, the punt block. They <laughs> 10 24-14. Vado will kick this one away and he'll boot it into the end zone. It's going to be returned out of the end zone. Out to the 10, out to the 15, to the 20. Big hole, 25, 30, 35. And Cabano makes a big hit up across the 40 to the 43. Nicky Cabano was the last man to beat. He went shoulder across and just flattened the local return man to save six there. What a big play. <laughs> I'm kind of stunned, Todd. It's a six-point play right there by Nicky Cabano. I mean, three seconds into that kickoff. 